What's going on, guys? It's Rev. Oh shit! It's freaking cold. Oh my god! It's really cold outside. Now that we're dressed a little bit better, because it's below freezing outside and it's cold. But I've really been wanting to do this for a while. I've had this in my possession for about a week or two. And uh, what it is is actually the Rally Armor mud flaps. And you can see them over here. This is what I received from Rally Armor with uh, nice instructions and the mud flaps. You can see them there right over there. I like the red lettering because that will accent my car very well with the white and the red. And I know this is not a rally car. I know I'm not gonna go mudding, but the main reason is you guys can see here is this. You see all this mess in the winter. It's getting all over the place and the rock chips over here. You can see how it's like beating on the car itself. So I wanna prevent that. And also these tires are not as wide as these tires which are my summer tires. So when I drive with the summer tires on, there's like tar and road grind that gets on the side even worse. And also there's little yellow uh, brake specs or brake dust specs that get on the car. Yeah, I wanna show you guys how to install these guys. And the directions are really good. But uh, I'm gonna get organized here for a little bit and I'll set you guys up somewhere and we'll get on with the video. So I'm not sure how well you guys can see things, but I want to make sure you guys are focused on the side over here of the car so you can see what I do. Uh, I, I got my, uh, I got my uh, tools and everything ready to go. So all you need for this side is this bracket. Uh, you need the uh, rally armor, mud flap. You need a little cover. You'll see where that goes. Two washers, two nuts, a thick spacer, which is just stick on thing and uh, two short screws plus a t25 that's all you need uh, i was having a little confusion with using the the actual spacer or the actual bracket with this but it's actually a very simple process they have very well uh, detailed description on what to do with these but still it was a little bit confusing to my mind i mean i'm not that smart anyway so first thing you have to do is free the space over here so you can do do that by taking off the tire i'm too lazy i'm not going to do that today it's too cold so I'm going to turn the steering wheel this way. Okay, I'm sorry you can't see my face, but I got to show you what I'm going to do over here because it's a, it's a simple process. I mean, most of you probably have done mud flaps before on their cars and uh, whatever, but I want, I want you guys to see everything I do. As you can see, by turning the, the, the wheel or the steering wheel this way, you have a lot of space to work with. And uh, here is only like two bolts. I'm gonna put some gloves on because it's really cold. And I know these gloves are not really gonna help me keep my hands warm, but they're keeping, I guess, the air coming out of your hands from going outside. And actually, I can feel it already warming up. So anyway, let's start by loosening up these guys first. Man, I guess you guys can see by looking at this right here what collects behind their uh, muffler or our fender liners. This is crazy. I mean, it's like I can press it and it's like a whole like holy moly. It's like a whole pile of mud just like sitting here. Yeah, so so that is just mud collecting by the actual uh, side skirt over here where it's like kicking it from the tire. I don't even know how it's getting in there. This is insane. I guess maybe through here. But you can see how much mud there is. Anyway, let's get back to the installation of the uh, the mud flaps. First thing you have to do is attach a little spacer like that on here. It's just a little adhesive, so you just peel it on and attach it in there. And you can see just like that. So this will have to touch your uh, fender liner. So it will go like that. Then comes the setup. So you have this guy right here. And actually, I'm going to say it to you guys up here so you can see a little bit better. You have this guy right here, so this has to go towards the fender liner. So basically, it just goes like that. That's what it's gonna look like. You put in, you put in the spacer here. You put in the spacer here, or the bracket with the spacer that's gonna touch the fender liner. And uh, you set it up on the car. Lastly will be this little guy, which it goes like here, so I'm guessing it just it's just set up to block or to make keep the actual mud flap from uh from moving up and down because it kinda it kinda puts a lock on it right here. Um but yeah it also blocks a little bit of the metal so people can't see it when uh when they look at the mud flap. So it's a little bit of an aesthetic. 
The following step is actually pretty easy. First, I'm gonna do is put this guy here and uh, make sure these go together. The reason why I wanna do this first is because I don't wanna mess with it when it's there because the space is very limited. So I'm gonna set this bracket up. And here's an important step and now I understand why they actually did that is this little lip right here. This little lip has to go right here. The main reason why you have the second piece is because it locks. You can see how it locks over here. I don't think you'll be able to see that because I the, believe the, the fender or I mean the side skirt will block that. So pretty much the bracket is done. I just have to install it. Uh, I'm not gonna tighten these up just yet because you can still adjust and move the mud flap. I wanna make sure it's sitting parallel to the ground. Okay, here comes the hard part. So basically it will look something like that and you can just thread it in. Alright, I'm not gonna tighten everything in just yet. I gotta fix this bottom part as well. As you can tell, it's a temporary in place. I'm not gonna tighten everything up because I want to line this up. And let me show you, let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Basically, I'm gonna grab a leveler, set it up next to the mud flap, and make sure, make sure this little bubble here is right in the middle, which right now, actually this side, I don't know how I lined it up by just vision. But I'm gonna keep on tightening it up. Uh, there's another option you can do with the mud flap, and that is pull it out more if you want more or pull it out less. I think where it's sitting right now, I really like it. So I just have to tighten everything up. So with that being done, I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. I'm gonna tighten this up and I'll show you the final result and also show you the back here in a little bit as well. All right guys, I'm still freezing to that over here. But anyway, I'm gonna show you this. So this will be a little bit harder. It will be a lot easier if you take the wheel out, which I'm gonna try not to do that today. Um, I'm not going to record everything for this specific rear flap. You saw the front one, it's very similar. This one has a few more steps. So that's why I'm not going to record everything. I want to focus and make sure I do that correctly. But there's one, two little torque screws. You're not really going to drill anything, but you do have these like longer bolts and these like medium bolts. So they go on like different places. And then you have the washers and you have these little washers and you have these little spacers. So it's a lot of detail. Uh, also, you have the bracket that you have to bend in a certain way and then you also have to put you have to put the little uh, adhesive uh, foam spacer too so it's a lot of steps uh, there's not enough space so you guys are not going to be able to see this very well but what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put everything on there and uh, I'll show you guys the end result guys do yourself a favor when you're doing the rear mud flaps and do this Take the wheel out, it's a lot easier. So, but anyway, you can see how the longer screws are going back here with the original holes. I do believe that this, the next screws, which are the kind of like the medium or the small screws, I haven't really decided which ones. I believe they're the smaller screws. So they go in here and I believe they'll, they'll go through, you see how like they have the little, the little clips right here. So they'll, They'll probably puncture the fender liner, which is, I think that's okay, you know, you know, random screws. Well, sorry about that, guys. My camera died. So what I was saying is it's a lot easier to take the rear wheel out. And the car is super filthy. Uh, just like that, because that gives you more space to work with these things right here. And this is what, uh, this is what they look like. Rally armor. I love how this red goes with everything else. Um, I'm really happy with them so far. I still have one more to do, which is the front. I haven't done the front yet, but this is what they look like from, I guess, the back or the side. I decided to not give too much of a lip because I kind of want them to be stealthy. But um, yeah, it's a little lip. The front doesn't look too bad either. You can tell, again, the mud. And that's the mud that you get if you don't have a mud flap on. So that's 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 just filthy. It's, I'm I'm still beyond myself how this this type of mud gets back here and it just sits. That eventually is gonna be a problem for rust. But anyway, I'm gonna put the last one on. Uh, you guys got the general idea of how easy this stuff is. It should take you. It's taking me a longer time because I'm recording a video. I'm doing other things. But it should take you maybe like 30 to 45 minutes. The directions are phenomenal. They're really good. Again, rally armor. I love them. Really good mud flaps. I want to see how they're going to protect the car. I mean, you can see it's just filthy back here. 
and uh, on the side too. It's just ridiculous. So I want to see how they'll protect the car overall. If you guys are new to the channel and just stopping by, please subscribe. There's a lot more videos to come, especially hopefully with the weather um, getting better. It's still really cold, as you guys can tell. I'm not sure if you can see my breath, but it's when I breathe, it's, it, that's how cold it is. Uh, you get the general idea. But there's a lot more videos to come this, uh, this spring. I can't wait for the weather to warm up. Put these bad boys on and see how well the mud flaps protect from the river these bad boys or the grime these bad boys throw in the car. Uh, I had them for a little bit during the, 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 the end of fall last year and there was a lot more um, rubber markings on the side over here with, with the uh, summer tires. So we'll see how it goes. But again, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys like the new modification. Uh, I can't wait to take some more pictures and uh, talk about these in my next video because I want to see how they perform, especially with winter here. I'm, I'm going to have to wash the car first to make the comparison. But please subscribe. Please like the video. That means a lot to me. Please comment what you guys think about the mud flaps. I know it's not a Subaru. It's a Volkswagen. It's not going to go rallying, but I'm doing it to protect the paint, the side, and the side skirts. I appreciate you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.